Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the pit. Travis from Snake Den Entertainment, the band Endbringer, and the band Samara. Just giving you guys a little channel update, letting you know what's going on, what's been happening since we've been quite inactive for the last year. Uh, a lot of positive, a lot of really good reasons why we've been active. Uh, first and foremost, got to check a bunch of stuff off my bucket list. Uh, we did a bunch of weekenders with the band Samara, uh, which was really exciting for me because it's stuff that I've always wanted to do. I mean, I think I think every kid that ever picked up a guitar or picked up any instrument or decided he wanted to be in a band, they, you know, they, they've always had that dream of touring. And, you know, the, the keep, it, uh, keep it in perspective. They're weekenders, but it's still as close as I can get to it that finances will allow. So... That was really exciting to be able to do that and also to play out of state. I'd never done that in my entire life before. Uh, so that was really fun, really awesome. Had a lot of great bands that hooked us up. Uh, my boys, Inverter, a uh, big fan of them, guys. They were excellent to us. Uh, we made some new friends to Adam Slim from the band Uzi, who if you are into heavy jazz music at all, they are fucking great. Um our boy Tony Marks from Video Massacre hooked us up with another Weekender. And it's not just Weekenders and just band stuff, too. Uh, Endbringer's been working on a new record, which we hope to have out midsummer. Not sure what the logistics on it. In fact, I am the holdup on this. I still have some work to do on vocals in the studio. We are recording it to 4 Audio and Clearfield PA, and that has been... That's been fun. It's been a lot of fun. It's, it's, it's stuff that I... Uh, approaches that I've never taken before. So it's a whole new learning experience. Not only all that going on, but I've been really busy uh, with with uh, festival work. I've taken a little bit more prominent role in the crew on the Upstage Music Fest. Uh, while we still have our top tier members, I've climbed up a little bit of a rung and taken on a little bit more work and tried to make it a, a little bit easier for everybody on the crew instead of just being a wallflower the whole time uh so you have to ask the rest of the upstage crew if i'm doing my job if it's working out if i'm doing okay uh i feel like i am uh so but the time will tell and maybe we'll see you this august at at the show uh not only being busy with that and booking shows but a couple more bucket list items i got to i got to play with two of my favorite bands not only favorite bands but uh friends of mine we got to do a show in uh, Clearfield with uh, War, my boys from North Carolina. Uh, shout out to them, Bobby, Phil, David, Ben, and the new guy. I forgot your name already, and I feel terrible, so be sure to blast me in the fuck comments for being a jerk. And uh, we got to play down in Pittsburgh with Casket Robbery, which was a huge deal. Those guys are an excellent band. And they travel the whole way from the Midwest. They tour constantly. They're on tour right now. War does the same. And we got to make some new friends. Uh, Summoner Circle. I get to meet those guys. Excellent band. If you get a chance to check them out, it is not only a feast for the ears, it is a feast for the eyes. Um, oh, I'm sure there's other bands that will come to me as we're working. Like I said, Inverter Uzi Tree was a big band from Boston that we got to do a show with uh, in New Hampshire they were wonderful if you if you like that classic old school hardcore where it's just straightforward smack you in the mouth with a positive message on the back end look up uh boston's tree and uh yeah we got we got to play in a donut shop i got oh another great band to check out from reading throttle t-h-r-o-d-l they are an incredible band and i got to do a lot of work with uh another one of my favorite bands that's full of some great individuals is heartsick uh didn't quite get to play a show with them. My cover band got to play a show with them. The cover band that I, I'm in, uh, Volume by Alcohol. We got to we got to do a little bit of something with them, but like, uh, and I'm not trying to take away from those of you in cover bands or even those guys in Volume by Alcohol. But like, I just I I love being able to do my own original thing in 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 front of those kind of bands. But it was a lot of fun, and we got to meet all the way from Israel Hotbox. They were really fun, like rap metal to the ex they, they were great I, I don't know how else to describe them look them up they uh come the whole way from israel to la and then they ended up in pennsylvania and they were they were really really cool um 
with all that and all that out there, I've come across some old footage from last summer because we ha- I haven't recorded anything. But I didn't do anything with it uh, due to the fact that I didn't expect to uh, get as busy as I did in my music life. Let alone in my personal life, I've decided to make the jump a few months ago and become self-employed. And that's a situation where you might bite a, off a little more than you can chew there. And I, I think I did. But, uh, you know, like Black Sabbath said, never say die. We, we go. And like uh, Machine Head said, full steam against the odds, full steam against full speed against the odds, full steam against the grain. Ooh, Rob Flynn would slap the shit out of me right now. At any rate, uh, like I said, a lot of really positive things happened in the background, which opened me up for more time, more of this. I knew it was going to be a difficult uphill battle to get to this, but uh, we're here and I'm going to be releasing some videos from uh, our first weekender that I got to do with Samara and uh, a video of 2023's uh, my, my journey to Toledo Death Fest, which was a whole lot of fun. All that stuff is coming up real soon. So the next couple of videos, like I said, they're older, but I feel like there's bands in there and there's messages in there that people can take to heart. And uh, this has gone on really long, just me standing here talking about myself. I have a hard time doing that. Uh, I would rather talk about other bands and raise other people up. And, you know, that, that that's the whole focus of this channel. It always has been the focus of this channel is bringing attention to bands that I really like, bands that are working hard, bands that are friends of mine. Uh, so, yeah, if, uh, if any of you were paying attention, I did name drop volume by alcohol. That's another thing that happened to me. I've been filling in on drum. I started filling in on drums for them guys. And then they asked me to become a permanent member. And it's been a lot of fun. It's uh, getting together with your friends and playing music. It kind of brought me back to here. The grassroots of why I got into music so much is because uh, not only is music very important to me, it's always been something that, uh, that has made me feel uh, welcome, a, even in even in an alone room with a set of headphones on. It's always made me feel welcome. It uh, it's what the older I got when I started going to shows, it turned into something that I enjoy sharing with my friends and and, and playing songs that we love with some originals mixed in, mind you. But uh, a, a lot of it is just stuff that's inspired us throughout the years. And like I said, you're just hanging out with your friends playing tunes, and that was the basis of every all of this the channel every band i've ever been in it's always been uh of the utmost importance that and, and somewhere along the, it's real easy to lose that and i don't think i lost that somewhere along the way but somewhere along the way i put the business and uh that kind of stuff over just playing music with your friends and having fun uh but we're back and like I said, over the next couple of weeks, we got some uploads coming. They're older and we're looking at uh, getting some new uploads. So if you are a band that would be interested in visiting the pit or inviting me out to a show to check you guys out. Oh, ooh, I almost forgot. There's one more thing. There's one more thing. I will be helping out Hate Grenade in the near future, too. They're an Altoona based rap metal band and I am pumped. Uh, we'll be hauling gear and hanging out at their merch table. So if you happen to see us at uh, Tiki Stick in Ohio, which is a music festival that is headlined by Tantric and Flaw this year, stop by, say hi. If you're a friend of the channel, if you're a fan, and you know what? There's only like 60 of you out there. So please, who knows? Maybe I'll run across one of you in Ohio, but I would love for you to buy a shirt because Hate Grenade definitely deserves a little bit of some attaboys chuck has always been super supportive of everything i've done and he's always been a really cool guy and yes we are going to get them on the channel anyway let's bring this back to reality <laughs> if you want to be a guest on the show uh if you'd like to be interviewed if you'd like me to review your uh album a cd anything that you've done uh hit me up on the socials mostly facebook snake Den entertainment that's the best uh that's the best way to get a hold of me uh, drop us a line on there and we'll see if we can work something out. I like to, I don't, I don't like to do stuff, uh, via Skype. I can, or, or anything, any app in that vein. I can, but I, I prefer the in-person approach. Uh, if you notice behind me, you see right there is a Ricky Rackman poster. Uh, 
that was something fun that I got to do over the summer. And maybe I'll talk about that later on. I got to meet Ricky Rackman, who every Saturday night I used to watch on Headbangers Ball. And a lot of my favorite moments was Ricky Rackman hanging out with the other bands. Uh, and I want to kind of keep that spirit alive. Like kind of like we have technology that we can connect with each other like we're doing right now. But more of a personal approach when it comes to bands. So if we can meet halfway, if you have a show where you're touring through Pennsylvania, or even if you just want me to listen to your CD and you need an address to mail it to, absolutely hit me up. I would love it. I like to keep everything positive. So if it's something that I'm not into, I'm, I probably won't mention it uh, at all. If it's if it's something that just isn't on my wave, that doesn't necessarily mean it's bad. I just we all work on different wavelengths and uh, I know what I enjoy. I know, I know what resonates with me. So, okay, that's enough. 10, 12 minutes of this is more than enough. I just wanted to give everybody a little bit of an update out there on what's going on. There is definitely more to come. So hang tight. We're working on it. Like I said, I got really busy with life and with everything that I'm doing and trying to find that balance to where I can bring light to other bands while still working on my band, while still booking shows uh, with bands that I know and love, not necessarily booking shows for my band, but you know, all kinds of stuff like that. I just, I, yeah, the moral of the story, let's wind this up in a nice, neat, tie it off with a very fancy bow like you would at Christmas time, is uh, the whole realm of music has always been super important to me. And to find that balance to where I can still be a good parent, where I can still pay my bills, and to where I can still uh, raise up other bands. Uh, like music is the thread that has always brought me to my friend circle, all my friends, my close friends. We've all bonded over music at some point in time or another. Uh, so yeah, it's it's really been the heartbeat of everything that I've done. And a lot of the reasons why I try to, well, I don't know where I was going with that, but that's the reason it's so important to me is because it's, it's, uh, it's, it's ever since I was a little kid, it's always been something really huge and something really prominent in my life and being able to help others who have that same passion and that same drive with music has been a straight up pleasure and a joy. So stay tuned. Now I'm done talking more episodes to come.